Hello, hello, hello to all of my Pisces. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a weekly reading for July 28th through August 4th. This is for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, also for my Cuspers. Now, what do I mean by Cuspers? If you were born February 19th through February 23rd, you are a Pisces with Aquarius tendencies. So you want to check out this video and the video for the Aquarius. If you are, if you were born March 16th through March 20th, you are a Pisces with Aries tendency so not only do you want to watch this video but you also want to watch the video for the Aries as well okay what do we know about our Pisces besides the fact that Pisces are water signs we know that Pisces are very empathetic you all are very artistic we're talking about high vibrating Pisces you all are very emotional in a good way you're also selfless you're natural healers you're very compassionate you're intuitive um, you're very gentle you're wise um, you're very, and a lot of Pisces are very musically inclined, a lot of talent, a lot and a lot of talent. And so when you understand how music vibrations play into a lot of things in our lives, it has the power to invoke all sorts of feelings. Matter of fact, when we're talking about musical, that's a way that you can charge your crystals as well. So I have a video on, on, on that as well, but let's get into your reading Pisces. Most High God in the Universe, what do we have for our Pisces as it relates to creativity and emotions? Also, as it relates to their spirituality and them taking action. Also, in areas of power and intellect and money and wealth. Let's go, Pisces. Let's see what we have, what the universe has for you. Let's go, Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So we have the chariot and the empress. So Pisces, you, you guys are winning. I mean, like very, very strong. You know your power. You know who you are. No and ifs or buts. You're winning. You had a lot of willpower and a lot of progression there. So upward movement, right? You are winning. You got sick and tired of people who were being deceitful, holding a lot of secrets, playing games, lying stabbing you in your back, doing all kinds of stuff. And when I say stabbing in your back, not literally like stabbing you in your back, but more or less just, just being deceitful, right? Betraying you, you know? You got to try to wonder wonder where they're going. Like, mm. It was just a lot of stuff going on, right? So now you've come through this. You've allowed them to cut themselves out of your life. So you can either look at it as that you cut them out of your life or they cut themselves out of your life, right? Vibrating at a high frequency, it may have felt at first like you just say, I just got to make an executive decision to cut them out of my life. But re really, because of their lies and secrecy, they removed themselves from, look at you, the queen of swords. Now you're very, very, very careful about who you let in your life. No more. You'll be able to see exactly who's lying, who's being this you know, deceitful, you know, just all kinds of just drama. Who's bringing all this extra drama? Now you're doubly strong, right? So now that you are vetting, the process of vetting people is much different now. Because of the frequency that you're on, you're doubly as strong. You have a lot of prospects, a lot of advancement happening for you. Like your life actually got better as a result of axing that... Um, secretive sneaky person out of your life or people out of your life right that could be love life it could be work it could be any part of your life but you just decided i'm going to vibrate at a higher frequency i'm not allowing people and you're you're so much stronger as a result of it right so 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 much stronger like you know what i know who i am i know i'm empathetic i knew something was off about this person and you were spot on i knew something wasn't right about them <laughs> I knew something was not right about that person and I will never, ever, ever not trust my intuition again. I knew something was off. Yep. Okay. What else we have for my Pisces? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this person, oh my goodness, this person was just a trip, like for real. This person, we had the nine of swords, the ten of swords, the eight of swords. Like, not only did you feel restricted in that relationship, you felt like, okay, this person stressed you out. They caused you a lot of anxiety, tears, crying, all of this other stuff. This person could have had Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra in their charts. We have the overarching amount of cards. The, not the majority. See, these are the overarching themes, right? You're good. You're in a great place right now. You're winning as a result of cutting that person off or letting that person 
fall off because you decided to vibrate at a higher frequency. You all, quite frankly, you just weren't compatible, right? But this person was vibrating at a low frequency. They were playing games. They were lying. They were misleading you, doing all kinds of just mess. And you just said, you know what? I'm done. I'm just, I'm done. Like for real, I am just done. Right. And so look, now you have, now you have somebody that's compatible, right? Somebody in your life. This is the two of cups and this is you doing good. This is about partnership. This is about duality. This is about doubling your strength. You know, this is just good, good, good. Like you're in a really, really good place. Right. And so that's why I said you have a lot of prospects, right? A lot of advancement, a lot of good things happening for you as a result of you getting all this stress and drama out of your life. Like just craziness, just absolute freaking craziness. People trying to lead you down one way and just, you know, just misleading, just a bunch of mess. And then we have the King of Cups. So right now your focus is on not only bettering yourself, which is in turn going to better mankind. So as a result of all of this drama, you could be in counseling right now. You could be talking to some people that's vibrating on the same frequency that you're on because your goal is, listen, I'm not trying to be that hurt person that's running around hurting other people. I want to be that healed person that teaches other people how to be healed, right? And so for many of you, it could just mean that you decided to tap into another realm, another level of gifts. Look, we have this queen of wands here. This is their spirituality. So you could have been tapped into your spiritual gifts and saying, you know what? Instead of me being hurt, that hurt person hurting other people and vibrating at a lower frequency, I'm going to be that healed person at this higher vibration, this higher frequency, and I'm going to help heal other people, like in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But you came through this thing much, much, much better, actually, as a result of that happening. So when you're in that, when you're in that mode of people stabbing you in the back, betraying you, lying, playing games, misleading you, all this other mess, um, it hurts like I don't know what, because you may have been thinking this was the person for me. Like this was the person that I really thought I wanted him to spend my life with to be in them. But all of that stuff happened. They actually cut themselves off from you. No more crying, no more tears. You just in a good place. And so your prospects are real good. Like they actually doubled your prospects. If anything, people who kept you in that, that state of mind, the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. This is great. Look, because you're in such high spirits, spirits right now, it's gaining momentum. Anybody that kept, kept you feeling like you restricted, you were restricted, like you were in bondage in that relationship. You, you knew all the long, all along Pisces that you had the power to shake them off. Just like you could shake these ropes off and see things for what they really were. Take the blinds, the blindfolds off and see things for what they really were. You had that power all along. You really did not have to be in this nine of swords position, this anxiety, this stress, this crying, this insomnia, you know, borderline depression. You didn't have to be in that, but it almost like it had to happen for you to be where you are right now. Your prospects are on 10, like everything great is happening for you right now as a result of you saying, you know what, I need to make an executive decision to vibrate at a higher frequency. That person just absolutely does not need to be in my life. So now that you're at a higher vibration, you're, you're vibrating at a higher frequency, the moment that that person started lying to you and being deceitful and all, what they did, they created a rippling effect for it to happen to them. So let's say, for instance, they got into a relationship with somebody, that person is doing it right back to them. Everything that they did to you is already happening to them. Okay, Pisces, that's what I want you to see. It's very, very, very powerful. That's why I tell people, listen, keep your vibrations high. I don't care who hurts you get to healing. Do not vibrate at that hurt frequency where you're hurting other people because everything you invite into your life is hurt, hurt, more hurt on top of hurt, on top of hurt, on top of hurt. But when you are healed and you're vibrating at that love for self frequency, that's powerful because now you're opening up a portal to invite love, the type of love you deserve. Look, three, in harmony. You are in harmony spiritually, right? This red is fire. The fire energy is with the Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius. That's about spirituality and taking action. As a result of you taking action, not only did you come out more meticulous, but you're also on fire. Your life is in full harmony spiritually, right? Because you're getting the healing that you needed. And you're like, never again. This is the queen of swords. Never again. You're vetting everything that comes into your life. Like, listen, I'm vibrating at a frequency that feels good right now. 
I may have let that person uh, hoodwink, bamboozle me in the past, but never again. That right there is never going to happen to me again. And so you're feeling good about life right now. You remember who you were. You're the empress sitting on a throne. And so all that live, uh, low vibrating energy that was in your life, all the deception, the lies, the games, all of this mess is gone. They cut themselves out of their lives. They missed out on a beautiful person. And so you need, you remembered who you were and you decided, oh no, uh-uh. And so, yeah, you're inviting new love into your life. Not only a deeper love for yourself, but I'm talking about the prospects of people coming into your life, this person will be nothing like your ex. Absolutely nothing. Everything will be in perfect harmony, perfect sync. Your new love will be in perfect sync and harmony with where you're vibrating at right now. Nothing like your ex at all. Nothing. Okay? That's what I have for you for my Pisces. Again, this is some this is for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also, this is for my Pisces that's on the cusp. That is for my Pisces who were born February 19th through February 23rd. The ones, the Pisces that have the Aquarius tendencies. Also for the um Pisces with Aries tendencies, the ones who were born March 16th through March 20th. But this is for all my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This applies to you. Have a fantastic week. Again, this is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with reading for July 28th through August the 4th. Have a fantastic week. Okay, Pisces? Bye.